I was given a mochi donut. Mm. Mm hmm. It's honeydew flavor. Because I don't like really sweet things. Mm. All right, this beer's getting warm. I gotta drink it quick. Ugh. One second. Okay. I've never actually tried to make mochi myself. I've used mochiko flour for things. By the way, this beer is 8% alcohol. Oh, feel that tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You ever see the, the two old guys who do it by hand? You know, like, how do you not smash your fingers? What? They are. The two old Asian dudes who fucking do it by hand. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Hey, what are you doing? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. A little more extensive than that? What, what do you mean? You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Low, low prices. All right, let me finish this stupid donut. I do. It's very cute. By the way, little, little anal beads. No, I mean yes. There's more than just the two guys to do it. This, that's true. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Fancy title for a grave digger. Hey, I earned that fancy title. Started off a lowly junior gravesite builder, then junior interment engineer. Oh, and I was a junior burial assistant for a time. I'm pretty old to be a junior anything. The rate I've been working, I'm bound to earn a promotion. Oh, is there empty or nice? Must I be about that. 50, 60 burials away from associate in humor. We're going to talk to you about a power regulator. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Porn star. Depends on the work. You offer me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the some cemetery. Tea? Ooh, tense. None of well. us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. But tea does sound money nice. means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. I may collect what's owed to you, I can do that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. Reed Thompson. He may <laughs> his arm a little. Hey, in the end, Reed does the right thing and walks away. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. But we're going corporate this time. 
We're at, we have to side with Reed. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah? You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. You're not worried about falling sick? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, all my life? <laughs> it's been real good to me. All life. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Lose a lot of people to marauders? Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. What are they after? Loot? Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. Okay. Don't you test me, whole head. Damn, she called me a whole head. Lifetime net value, 5,122 bits. Damn, buddy, you were worth $5,000. That sucks. Wait, where's homie's hut? Is it here? Oh, it is. If you want to end your years in luxury and comfort? Do you dream of walking beneath the vaulted arches of Byzantium? The retirement is finally here. The retirement is a ticket to Byzantium. Blah, 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 blah. I gotta sneeze. <gasps> nope. Hold it back. Hold it. Hold! No penalty for stealing anything, so steal all the shit. such criminal activity that nobody will know and or care about that was the weirdest thing about this game like nothing is marked as stolen in the inventory you just move along move along Well, yeah, that was that was always the thing in other in other games like this. For whatever reason, items would be marked as stolen in your inventory. You can never get rid of them, except to like a specific person who would buy stolen goods. I always thought it was kind of dumb. Boom, 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 boom. Yo, what up, Asian? How you doing, bud? Oh, God. 
Another day at the cannery. Don't go knocking your work. At least we've got one. Keep your distance, friend. This is a sick house. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Yo, frames, where'd you go? I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. And why not? Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. Uh, why was going on here? Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. You got some Adrena time. You've got Adrena time? How? No, I don't want to know. Could be you stole it. Could be you're trying to test me. See if I'm going to violate company policy. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Oh, I need experience points. Need XP. Come here, you little rat. Hey. Hey. You won't be needing that. Hey. A few dead people. The barber shop. Perception of self is bad. Company's gonna have to call it for what it is. Destruction of space, spacer's choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay for his body price. Uh, thinking if he pawn off his teeth, Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. Uh, the prospects of his body do round, pry them out. We'll sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet. Use the bits to pay for his body price. Yo. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. What? 
I can show you my hands. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Okay. Uh, Silas sent me to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. <laughs> Fuck you, pay me. Some quality drama. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Give him an IOU? Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. What about Eugene's gold teeth? You know about Eugene? How? I'm a mind reader. You were probably poking around my things. I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. I can read minds. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. Uh, I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Goodbye. Another day at the cannery. Don't go knocking your work. At least we've got work. Oh, I was already back here. Wait, did I miss? <gasps> I missed a can of jaw. I'm gonna sell some fish. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. I have some questions. Go right ahead. What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test? Am I being tested right now? It's a uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra too. Uh, no one in the right mind would want to live here. If loving the place I work makes me crazy, then haul me off for mandatory re-education. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Yeah. Music to my ears. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, God. I have to readjust my ass. Okay. Um. Food. Get rid of anything that's not base health. Uh, or, sorry, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, base health is good. Uh, some nicotine. Uh, oh god. Oh wait, this is buying. I want to sell. 
There it is. Uh, sugar, sugary drink, get rid of. Base health is fine. Carbohydrates are fine. Carbohydrates fine. Carbohydrates fine. Fine. It's fine. Uh, get rid of Adrena time, right? Yeah. Armor, armor. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of most of this. I'll keep the lockpick one. Get rid of uh, I already have I already have an assault rifle equipped, a light assault rifle equipped, and a pistol equipped. I'm gonna sell all of it. Yo, GT, have a good night, bud. I want to buy all ammo. Actually, I kind of want to get rid of the light assault rifle. And use the regular assault rifle. Can I... Break you down? Yeah! Okay. Going to the cantina. Talk to this fool. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... To, uh... Where am I again? You're drunk. What? No, I'm Winslow. Lester Winslow. Says so right on my permanent record. I am in no condition to do any work. Not so long as my injuries trouble me. Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Hey, pretty lady. I don't know you. Uh, do you want to know me? I'm Alex Hawthorne. Uh-huh. The Unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. You look like you haven't slept in, like, 30 years. I don't know what years. you're about. But this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. 
And then, yeah, what a fine establishment it is. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean <laughs> to be hurt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Fine by me. What's on tap? Coming right up. Nothing. Okay. Thanks, lady. Let me go piss in your bathroom, though.